they have to notify us, and we have to know where these places are for our own police. Uh, they have to know that, that it's very important for public safety. City Commissioner Dave Pepcorn isn't happy with the F5 project. It's a group in the Valley whose mission is to help those struggling with addiction. The project is behind, uh, is behind four sober houses in Fargo, but it's working to meet guidelines for the number of people living inside those homes. Tonight, Commissioner Pepcorn said that the project has to stop what it's doing. Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker explains. They have to stop whatever they're doing right now because right now they are not following our rules and they're in our city. Fargo Commissioner Dave Pepcorn on the F5 Project Sober Houses meant to help those struggling with addiction and trying to get their lives back on the right track. They have to get permission from the city because, like I said, th we've been through this before and so now we have regulations and hoops and things you have to jump through. They did not do any of that. At the beginning of August, it was discovered the sober houses were not following codes put in place for group homes. F5 Project's founder Adam Martin says that's been fixed. We're within code, like we're, like we're doing everything we can to be within the normal code. We're going through the application process right now to have group housing so that we can have more people in a house. An August 3rd meeting between Martin and city leaders took place to get the application process rolling. Senior planner Dan Molly says the city is willing to work with Martin because he's trying to help those battling opioid addiction. We have a group that's trying to meet a need and we got to make sure that it fits with existing codes and if the codes need to be amended or if land uses need to be changed. But neighbors also have a right to know what's happening. After that meeting, Martin says steps were taken to make sure they were in code. The way for us to violate that code is to have more than three non-family members living per unit. Um, and like I said, like that's why uh, if we had those right, those, uh, those appropriate applications approved, we would only have one or two houses. But since we, we don't have those yet and we're in the process of doing it, that's why we have four. And with that, if the city was to come check out their homes now, they'd pass an inspection, according to Martin. Still, Pepcorn is hesitant about what's happening. The main thing I'm concerned, if it's, if it's uh, sex offenders or something like that, are they near schools, parks? daycares, things like that. Th those are things, there's reasons why we do that for public safety and they, uh, we don't even know where these houses are and so that's, it's not good. It's not a good start for them. Pepcorn adds that the city planning department will determine what, if any, action needs to be taken regarding the F5 project. Martin adds that they're buying houses this week to make sure that no one gets put out on the streets. The two sides plan to meet in October to discuss whether the houses are up to code.